Hey guys, Vegathron here. In this series, we'll be going through each and every charm in Hollow Knight. But this won't just be your normal charm guide. We'll be going deeper than ever before, by the numbers to uncover absolutely everything we can about each charm. Can Grubberfly's Allergy hit the same target with both the nail and the projectile? Is Steady Body Trash or God Tier? Exactly how much attack speed does Quick Slash give? We'll answer all of these questions and more in what aims to be the most in-depth charm guide you've ever seen. And you can expect the same thing when Silk Song comes out. Now, without further ado, let's get into the episode. Defender's Crest. This charm costs one notch and emits a damaging gas cloud around the night. This charm can be found in Royal Waterways by defeating the Dung Defender boss. Defender's Crest emits an AoE cloud every 0.75 seconds that will linger for 1.1 seconds. Each individual cloud deals 1 damage every 0.3 seconds, for a maximum of 3 damage per cloud. Since clouds spawn faster than they vanish, multiple clouds can be out at once and damage the target. In an ideal situation, this can put out approximately 4.88 damage per second. This sounds like ok damage early on, however bear in mind that this is under an absolutely perfect scenario. In reality, due to enemies moving and its poor range, the already mediocre DPS will be far worse, and once you have a nail upgrade or two, the damage it deals quickly becomes even more laughable. They say you can't make sh** shine, but it does have a niche where it can. The Broken Vessel fight and its dream variant constantly has infected balloon spawns that float towards you. These only have one health, so the damage aura from Defender's Crest will pop these before they can hit you, meaning you can effectively ignore them. Even better, this opens up a lot of healing opportunities that normally wouldn't be possible. Other than that though, the best use for this is getting a 20% discount from Leg Eater. Just walk up to him with the charm equipped and he'll slash his prices. There are also extra dialogue available from Elderbug, White Lady, Relic Seeker Lem, Dung Defender, Tuck and the Divine when wearing the charm. And Tuck will even give you a free rancid egg. And one more bit of trivia is when in the Pleasure House kitchen, the flies there will be attracted to you. Sadly, this is probably one of the worst charms in the game, even at one notch, and as you're about to see, it actually makes certain charms weaker when combined with them. Defender's Crest Special Interactions When combining Fluke Nest and Defender's Crest, one giant fluke is launched instead of the smaller swarm. This hits for 3 initial damage and then explodes into a dung cloud lasting 2.2 seconds and dealing an additional 22 damage over time. Note, this does the same damage regardless of if you've upgraded to Shade Soul, and even in a best case scenario, deals less damage than the swarm of flukes in exchange for greater range and area of effect. When Glowing Womb and Defender's Crest is combined, spawned hatchlings will take on a different appearance. They will deal 5 less damage on impact but leave a small AoE cloud for 1 second, dealing up to 5 damage. At best, this deals the same damage as a normal hatchling, and at worst you lose out on damage due to enemies moving out of the cloud's effect. When combining Spore Shroom and Defender's Crest, the Spore Cloud generated after channeling gets increased damage, going from 27 damage to 40, a bit over a 48% damage boost. The visuals are also changed. That's all for this episode. If you learned something, help me out by subbing and dropping a like. And I hope to see you in the next episode, featuring Glowing Womb.